ImageMaster Pro is built on Topcon's PI3000 photogrammetry software. It's able to generate highly accurate three-dimensional models from pairs of photographs taken with any digital camera. The final results include dense surface models, coloured point clouds, orthophotos, vectors and photo-rendered tins. ImageMaster is also able to interface with the latest generation of robotic imaging total stations from Topcon, which include wireless remote control. It can import and interrogate laser scan data, and it can also work with laser scan and traditional survey data alongside photogrammetry image processing. This screencast aims to give an overview of the main steps of the data processing, going from image orientation, creation of stereo pairs, right through to automated 3D surface generation. We'll then look at incorporating a second pair of photographs, and then finish off with, look, with a look at the available tools for interrogating 3D models and exporting them into other applications. I've used a waffle as an example for this screencast because it's a highly irregular and difficult to map shape. But the techniques could be equally scaled up to anything as we'll see at the end of the presentation. Here we can see the two photographs taken from the left and the right of the waffle and they're on a piece of paper with control point marks already on there. The first stage of image orientation involves identifying a minimum of six common points on the left and the right picture. The software has an automated pixel matching algorithm which makes this process very quick. Once we've measured our six points we do the orientation calculation and then here we can see the result is OK. We can look at the ground resolution to check the accuracy of the results. And then the next stage is to generate the pair of stereo images. So this is the raw image processed to remove any distortion or parallax from the lens. And here we can see the stereo images with the polygon that I've already drawn on it. Just a demonstration of how easy digitization of polylines is on the stereo pair. The software again uses a pixel matching algorithm to match up the stereo cursors on the left and the right. So here we can see by choosing a point on the left, when the circle goes green, it has a corresponding position on the right image. And we can define the polygon like so. So the next stage is generation of the three-dimensional surface. First we select the polyline which bounds the area we want to model. We can identify a separate layer in the software for the three-dimensional surface to sit. Specify the mesh interval. Here we've chosen 0.5 millimeters. After generation, the 3D surface is represented on the stereo pair. This triangular network of points can be viewed and interrogated in the model screen. We can see that there's good data on the surface of the waffle, but there's data missing at the sides, which was actually invisible in the original pair of photographs. So here we've re-photographed the waffle from the side, obliquely. Here we can see another polyline that's been defined and here's the 3D surface that was generated automatically to fill in some of the missing data. So now in the 3D screen again we can see how the two surfaces that we've created sit together giving a more complete model. It's possible to overlay the photographic texture from the photographs on top of the 3D surface. And now we'll look at some tools for interrogating our 3D model of the waffle. 
We'll start with the cross section tool simply by selecting two points the software automatically extracts a two-dimensional profile through the surface. Contouring is very straightforward as well. Using the automatic settings, the contour lines are created as a series of major and minor polylines. We can also work out the volume of the waffle. Here I've created a lower surface, which is the reference plane, and using the volume difference tool, we can simply specify tin 1 and tin 2 and here we can see the result. Measuring distances is very easy, again just by plotting on the screen from point A to point B. And here we can see the result represented as horizontal and slope distances. Lastly we'll look at some of the export formats. We can send points out as an export, we can export the point cloud as coloured points, vectors as shape files and also create ortho image views. To round off this screencast, we'd like to show you some examples of other projects that were created using ImageMaster Pro and pairs of photographs acquired with a standard digital camera.